Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. Today, a box from CGC is going to get opened containing six vintage Spider-Man books that were once graded by PGX, but now they're CGC. We're going to compare the grades and see what it's all like. All right, so I'm nervous as heck. We, this is the third in a series of uh, PGX conversion therapy, as I've been calling them. Uh, the first two badges we sent in modern books. Um, those modern books were 9.8 graded books. The first batch uh, went to CGC. They came back perfectly, all 9.8s. Uh, next batch we sent in was a batch of signature series, signature verified, uh, 9.8 graded modern books. We sent those to CBCS. They all came back 9.8 and all of them came back signature verified the same. So, so far, all that we've established is that for modern books that are graded 9.8, good chance that they're on the same, on par with the other grading companies. Not necessarily 100% guaranteed, but very close. It's important to remember that while all the grading companies utilize the same numerical scale, each one has its own way of grading comic books and, inter and assigning what makes up a particular grade. All of them have a baseline that's very similar because they're originate based out of the Overstreet comic book guide to grading, but the, some of they have modified for their own purposes over time. So while a number 9.4 is a 9.4 is a 9.4, they're not. They can be different from one grading company. So that's the important thing really to remember. So what we're looking for ultimately because of that is are the grades similar? Um, are we finding anything that was like restored? That would be completely out of, something different. If we had books, none of them had restoration noted on the PGX. Um, so if any of them come back restored, that's how I see an issue. Um, and then if any of them have a massive grade switch, that's going to be an issue. But if they all come back the same or within say half a grade point, that I think that that's a win because at the end of the day, the grading scale is the same, but how they interpret it is different. And what we're looking for is making sure that there's no massive shifts. I took a big risk. Spider-Man is my man. Uh, five of these, there's six books here. Five of them are silver age. One is early bronze age. All of them when they were PGX books were uh, between, well, most of them were between um, a 6.0 and a 7.0, I think it was, or uh, yeah, 6.0 to a 7.0 with the exception of one book, which was a 2.5 to see how they do on a really low book. Um, again, all of them had been pressed and cleaned when I'd sent them to PGX to have them graded originally or I assume they were, because not all, actually some of them I acquired already graded. Um, but in taking them out of the, because there's handling involved, I paid CGC to press them. Now, CGC's pressing isn't much of a pressing. They're not doing extensive uh, pr pressing here. It's pretty much a quick press. Uh, and that's just to take care of any extra, um, anything that comes in the process of taking it out of the sl the uh, slab the uh, in that case though there was one book that CGC notified me that they did not press they refused to press it and that was our book that was the uh, 2.5 we'll get to that later when we get here um, that they said that they would not press it because of uh, issues with it so uh, the way I'm going to do this this time, instead of showing you a video of me showing off all the things, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to clip me showing you the PGX book, and then we'll re we'll do the reveal here on the um, on the CGC book. I'm going to cut for just we'll 
let's play that first clip here. Pretty much. So we're going to start off with this one here, this amazing Spider-Man issue number 24 uh, in a PGX 7.0. This ought to be an interesting one. All right, so here we are with that amazing Spider-Man um, 24. Uh, we have gone ahead and we, of course, we've put, I went and sp I splurged. I want to put that uh, symbol there on there for them. Uh, so this was the, a 7.0 with the PGX. And uh, where do we come out here on the CGC? With a 6.5. All right. So 6.5 with off-white pages. I've half point. That's pretty darn good. This looks, looks really good. Um, yeah. I don't disagree. I don't. 6570 is probably, if I was looking at this book raw, is where I'd be sitting there saying, hey, it's somewhere around that. So, um, proper job. All right, let's check out that next one. Uh, here's uh, Amazing Spider-Man 38 in a 6.0. This, of course, being Kirby's last issue on Spider-Man. Um, or not Kirby, uh, Ditko. Sorry, Steve Ditko's final uh, episode, issue of Spider-Man. So here we are, ASM 38, that last Ditko uh, ASM cover. Oh man, that looks good, right? So that was a 6.0 before. That book, oh, okay, yeah, I see. Um, it, it looks, still, it presents hello well. So it was a 6.0, we come back, a 5.5. So again, we're half a point off white to white pages I'm not mad not mad at all I'll follow that up with 39 the first um, Ramita or yeah so now this one's a two and a half so it's a pretty low grade book so again we're gonna see how does this equate all right so well, ASM 39 now this is the one that was a uh, had it has a but you know on the back side here you can see all this tape residue and stuff and when I sent it to CGC then they opened it up they contacted me said they would not press this book um, and the reason they said that is that because they said it had a detached cover um, now there's no detached cover notation on here there wasn't a detached cover notation on um, the other other um uh, sorry on the pgx either in looking at it i'm not surprised because i can see all this tape residue and i can see um a lot of t a, lot, a lot of t cover spine issues so uh that doesn't surprise me anyway so in the book there was a 2.5 and did not get the pressing afterwards where did we come out Okay, 2.0. So, so far, three for three, we're within half a grade. Uh, we've come down half a grade, but, we have, but we're still within half a grade. Uh, off white to white pages. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so now, since this book was, this was in my PC, uh, while this was off, I actually had the opportunity to upgrade this book and did upgrade it. So this book... Um, <sighs> As much as I would love to okay it to my man, uh, Freaky Louie, since I gave him his, his uh, ASM 40, uh, I'm going to actually donate this one to Comics Carrying Cancer. Uh, so it'll be available in October uh, for in Comics Carrying Cancer. Uh, somebody who's looking for a low-grade ASM 39, first Romita cover, Comics Carrying Cancer. If you don't know what Comics Carrying Cancer is, why not check out this video here? Uh, but essentially, it is the charity that uh, I, I run with a couple other uh, YouTubers, DJ Links and Legion of Comics, uh, in support of the American Cancer Society. It's an actual campaign of the American Cancer Society. You can follow us on Instagram at Comics Curing Cancer uh, for all the latest information as we approach our big auction in October. All right. Let's check out that next book. Another one, Doc uh, joined Spidey with uh, number 56 in a 6.5. Okay, so here we are. Amazing Spider-Man issue 56. Uh, we got teaming up with Doc Ock. What? That makes no sense. Um, so there we go. We had this book was a 6.5. 
uh, previously, and we take this one off. Ooh, 5-5. Five, five. Okay, so this one takes the biggest hit so far. 5-5 uh, five, five off-white pages, so we dropped a full point on this one. Um, backside is definitely tan. Um, we got some tanning, but it is not... There's no chunks, no massive, a little bit of discoloration, shadowing, but nothing is too brutal. I think you know what? I don't, I'm not going to argue. I don't think that it's. Uh, I don't think it's wrong. I don't. Um, yeah. Okay. A lot of these are really hard to hard to be hard to get on because they're, uh, you know, this mid grade range I find is really difficult uh, because you have a significant accumulation of of um, what faults versus a near mint book, but getting figuring out okay is without really scrutinizing counting all of them when you're just kind of looking at a book trying to compare it to other books in your mind that you've seen um, it's really you know sometimes you don't have the full picture and so I find the, some of the hardest editing from a 3.5 to a 6.5 can be uh, fairly difficult in that range to try to be pre too precise on when you're trying to guess it but um, yeah all right next book uh, up. here we go ASM 64 all right so here we are this one was the highest graded of the books that we had sent in it was a 75 pgx what did this one do 75 we come back 75 with white pages there we go so there we, I, I i like that that's well was not the like we kept the grade the back side looks nice and clean so here we are preservation 7.5 all good all right, that's the Silver Age books. Now let's check out that last Bronze Age, early Bronze Age book. The one book that's not Silver Age, this one's a Bronze Age book. This is Amazing Spider-Man 134, the first appearance of Tarantula. So here we are with that first Tarantula. Uh, this was a 6.0 when it was a PGX book. How did it rate coming back? A five five so there we are five five off white to white pages so in review we sent in six books uh, of those six books four of them came back uh, with only a half point drop which is where I said I exp I think that people should expect because because of the way the grading system has worked we had one that dropped one full point and then we had one that stayed the same are there is there anything that we can conclude from that you could say that you know whether there will be people who will take from it and try to say that um, PGX is, is proof that they're over inflating their grades but I don't think that when you talk about a half grade for the most part that you can say that's grade inflation I could probably crack these send them right back to CGC and there's a good chance that they could fluctuate a half grade um, point on the, just from instead of submitting them again, uh, depending upon who's reviewing it and what they see. So at the end of the day, I think what we've we've really kind of shown is that there's not that much difference between the grading on these books. Again, I'm not doing this is not a scientific survey sampling, so nobody fill in here about how I didn't. I'm not making. I don't mean to make big drawn conclusions. I just want to basically say that. Um, I think from this so far, what we're, lear we're learning and maybe being surprised by is the fact that how s not dissimilar it is. Maybe this is allowing some people to think that they're not, PGX isn't necessarily the dumpster fire that people seem to think they are, um, or at least that's what's out there. Uh, so maybe you'll consider, maybe some people will consider grading that way. I don't know. That's not what. That's not what the purpose of this. The purpose is just mostly entertainment for myself and to see what happen and happens and re, kind of reassure myself that some of the books I sent in PGX aren't necessarily all that bad. But so, anyways, I'm rambling on at this point, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Again, not a scientific thing here. I know that there's differences. I had the books pressed. Blah 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 blah. All these different things. 
it's a small sample size. We didn't get, find any restoration on any of these. That's good. Um, yeah. Leave a comment down below. Let me tell you what you think. Would you like to see more of this content? Well, guess what? Part 4 is going to be in the works very soon. I'm now going to go into my PC. And I'm going to grab 5, 9.9, .9, and 10.0 PGX books. And send those to CGC. Now that we have CGC looking for 9.9s and 10s, will any of the PGX 9.9 and 10s come back a 10 or a 9.9? .9? Will they come back 9.8s? Or, God forbid, will one of them come back something even worse? <laughs> Until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. So I'm just a fat man. Glutton for punishment, apparently. <laughs> a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.